China discovers a staggering 270 billion tons of liquid water hidden on the moon. As the history of human lunar exploration has been shrouded in profound mystery, a groundbreaking truth is now emerging, shocking the scientific community. The moon, long considered a lifeless desert, may conceal a potential reservoir of up to 270 billion tons of water. Since the Apollo 11 crewed landing in 1969, the United States has landed on the lunar surface six times, bringing back 381 kilograms of lunar soil and rock samples, yet consistently missed any significant trace of water. In stark contrast, China's Chang'e 5 mission, with only 1.731 kilograms of precious samples, has rewritten our understanding with a revolutionary discovery. The lunar soil pores, once dismissed as mere dust, are found to be preserving the very life code from the early formation of the solar system. This is not just a generational leap in detection technology. It rips open the moon's billions of years of dead star disguise. What untold cosmic secrets lie hidden behind this? The water is not actually liquid. It is entirely sequestered within the moon's natural mineral water bottles. Glass beads formed by meteorite impacts melting lunar rock. These beads act like sponges, locking in the water, with an average water content of 0.05% per bead. More stunning discoveries follow. The source of this water, hidden deep within the lunar soil, points to the ultimate stellar source in the vast cosmos. Using isotope analysis and particle simulation experiments, the research team has unveiled the mysterious veil of this interstellar matter transformation, high-speed solar wind carrying massive amounts of hydrogen ions, penetrates the moon's thin atmosphere, like invisible cosmic arrows at hundreds of kilometers per second. It then violently collides with oxygen atoms in the lunar rock. In the microscopic world of the quantum realm, the two elements overcome energy barriers and directly synthesize water molecules through a series of complex nuclear reactions. Even more incredible is the discovery of a sophisticated water cycle system operating on the lunar surface. During the lunar day, the intense sunlight bakes the water-rich glass beads, causing water molecules to vaporize and escape into the soil pores. When the lunar night descends, temperatures plummet to minus 180 degrees Celsius, and the specialized crystal structure on the glass beads' surfaces acts like a nanoscale sponge, recapturing the free-floating water molecules completing a marvelous cycle from dehydration to absorption. This dynamic equilibrium mechanism not only overturns the inherent human perception of a waterless moon, but also provides a completely new direction for resource utilization for future lunar bases. Behind this lies a crucial difference in the lunar exploration strategies of China and the U.S., which fundamentally changes the rules of the game for human lunar landings. Let's delve into the data and compare the cases to see just how disruptive this 270 billion tons of water is. Hi, the half-century enigma. Why did the U.S. miss the lunar reservoir? The U.S. has been searching for lunar water since the last century. After the 1969 Apollo 11 landing, only trace amounts of water were measured in the 381 kilograms of samples, which were dismissed as a false positive due to terrestrial contamination. A 2009 impact probe only detected hydroxyl signals, unable to even distinguish between water and hydroxyl. It wasn't until 2018 that the U.S. SOFIA telescope found water molecules in a lunar crater, but the estimate was only 100 to 400 grams of water per ton of lunar soil, deemed economically unviable. In contrast, China's Chang'e 5 carried the world's most advanced lunar sampling and analysis equipment, heading with millimeter-level precision to the Young region, northeast of Oceanus Procellarum. This area experienced a violent impact about 2 billion years ago, creating a unique geological environment. The high temperature and pressure of the impact instantly melted the lunar rock into a glassy state, which cooled to form crystal-clear glass beads. These beads still retain the primitive materials sealed during the impact moment. Microscopic analysis shows that the surfaces of these glass beads are covered with nanoscale pores, acting as natural miniature storage units that perfectly seal volatile substances from the deep moon. 
In comparison, the lunar rock samples collected by the U.S. Apollo program mostly came from ancient highlands older than 3.1 billion years. After billions of years of solar wind bombardment and space radiation, the surface glass bead structure had been severely damaged, and any original water, even if present, would have largely escaped in the high-temperature environment. Crucially, China innovatively employed a dual-guarantee technology of in-situ detection plus sealed encapsulation. The water analyzer on Chang'e 5 conducted tests directly in the lunar vacuum environment. This was coupled with a specially designed low-temperature sealed container that completely isolated the samples from Earth's atmosphere from sampling to encapsulation. This entirely circumvented the sample contamination risk associated with traditional return-based sampling due to Earth's environment. This breakthrough technology not only precisely locked in the water content data but also used cross-validation with multiple experiments, providing conclusive evidence to fill a critical gap in international lunar water research. Analysts comment, this is far from luck. The U.S. approached the problem with the old mindset of finding readily available liquid water, while China broke ground by focusing on the surface activity mechanism, choosing a precise location and the right technology. It's like others digging wells in the desert, while we directly study the water-storing rocks in the desert. The gap was already embedded in the scientific approach. This reminds the world that lunar exploration is not a treasure hunt, but requires understanding the survival logic of celestial bodies. 2. The secret of the glass beads. Why is lunar water ready to use? The West once asserted that the cost of extracting lunar water is higher than transporting it. The Chang'e 5 discovery is a decisive counter. Research by Chinese and UK teams on 32 glass beads revealed that the water content decreases from the outer rim to the core. The outer layer is filled with fresh water injected by the solar wind which can be extracted by heating to a certain temperature, eliminating the need for complex equipment. U.S. commercial companies have already done the math. Producing one kilogram of oxygen on the moon costs $3,000. If water from the glass beads is used, the cost could be halved, and it can also produce rocket fuel. The European Space Agency is even more urgent, planning to launch a lunar prospector in 2025, aiming directly at the lunar soil glass beads. Consider this. The International Space Station needs six tons of water annually, but just one square kilometer of lunar glass beads could supply 100 people for 10 years. Analysts comment, in this century-long competition for lunar exploration, the three words, easy to extract, are the golden key that could rewrite the history of human spaceflight. From the Apollo program to the International Space Station, humanity has been constrained by the belief of no water available on the lunar surface. Establishing a lunar base would cost hundreds of millions of dollars to launch fresh water from Earth to a vacuum 380,000 kilometers away, making space programs prohibitively expensive. The newly discovered water-bearing minerals in the form of glass beads, however, have been shown in simulation experiments to release high-purity water molecules with simple heating, achieving an extraction efficiency three orders of magnitude higher than traditional minerals. 3. Global Pivot – Why the Sudden Rush to Chase Lunar Water In the West? Immediately after the news broke, the West's actions were astonishingly fast. NASA instantly adjusted its 2026 landing plan, changing the landing site to a Young Impact Region. The UK extended an olive branch of cooperation to China, seeking to share the glass bead analysis technology. Even the EU announced its intention to form a Lunar Resource Development Alliance. In stark contrast to 2019, when the US was still imposing space technology blockades, they are now actively seeking cooperation, primarily because they can't afford not to. The U.S. once estimated that building a lunar base would require a billion tons of water, and if all of it were transported from Earth, the cost would be $100,000 per kilogram. The water in the lunar glass beads, however, is equivalent to a free energy reserve. Even more striking is that Europe's previous billion-euro remote sensing detection efforts were less tangible than the discoveries made from China's 1.7-kilogram sample. Analysts comment. There is no such thing as a 
permanent monopoly in the space sector. Looking back at the history of lunar exploration, the U.S., with the Apollo program data, long held the high ground in lunar research. This data monopoly lasted for half a century, like a heavy curtain obscuring other nations' view of the moon. However, China's space program, with the profound ambition to reach for the moon, has used the precise detection of the Chang'e series probes to accurately tear open this data gap like a sharp sword. The lunar soil samples returned by Chang'e 5 not only fill the gap in China's lunar research, but also provide new research directions for the global scientific community. For more than just water, does the moon hold humanity's future ticket? Don't assume this is merely a successful water discovery. The glass beads harbor an even greater treasure, helium-3, the perfect fuel for nuclear fusion. One ton of it could power the entire globe for a year. The U.S. previously searched tirelessly for helium-3 but failed to discover that it was locked together with water. Now, they can only watch as China masters the associated key-slash-accompanying secret. Even more disruptive is the lunar water cycle theory. Before the Chang'e 5 sample return, based on remote sensing data and core analysis from the Apollo missions, the scientific community generally considered the moon a completely dead planet, its surface riddled with craters, devoid of liquid water, and lacking geological activity. However, the latest microscopic analysis results are astonishing. Researchers found glass bead structures, less than a millimeter in diameter, in the lunar soil samples brought back by Chang'e 5. These glass bodies, formed under the high temperatures of meteorite impacts, contain sealed water molecules and possess a complete absorption storage release cycle capacity. When simulating the lunar day-night temperature swings, the glass beads release water molecules during high temperatures and reabsorb water from the surrounding environment during low temperatures. This discovery completely rewrites human understanding of the moon.